Good evening, and uh, welcome to the 16th annual uh, virtual open house. Um, we have all of the school districts and institutes participating in the national initiative connected uh, to our conference uh, this evening. I'm here with the national seminar leaders in the initiative offices overlooking uh, the New Haven Green and the Yale uh, campus. I will ask some of the many questions that uh, you have submitted in advance. Uh, this teacher writes, uh, I don't know that I have a question for a specific seminar leader, but more uh, for them in general. If they are not faculty of a school of education, what interests them in participating in this program with teachers? Any of you care to speak to that? I, I can go first. Uh, I am a huge fan of communicating science. I think it is essential and uh, Sorry, scientists, but the, the onus is on us to explain to the lay public the importance of science. So I feel like this process of being involved in the Teachers Institute and running a seminar uh, helps me interact with an audience to communicate science and transmit knowledge that is very different than the audiences that I have in the classrooms at Yale. And it is different than the school rooms where I might present my work and my ideas in science, you know, if it's an elementary school or a high school, I'm talking to those students in a different way than I would be talking to the teachers who are leading those classrooms. Uh, I guess in short, I love taking part in this because it keeps me on my toes in a very different way than the rest of my work. And a lot of it is in communicating the knowledge to an audience hearing back from that audience what excites them even more and we can be very nimble we can go down that path i think we've uh, heard this from my colleagues in the room is that you are part of the process of picking the readings and uh, it's the topics that you choose that really further drive my curiosity about the main topic and i, I just learn a lot through this anyone else here to yeah, I mean, maybe to build off of that, you know, I think the record of education reform is often littered with these large scale initiatives that are top down, that imagine that that's <coughs> how teaching and learning and pedagogy gets transformed. My experience in the, the seminar last year in New Haven really upended that. Um, it's actually teacher driven efforts that are much more sometimes improvisational, resourceful, rooted in peer to peer learning and exchange that I think will be at the forefront of doing what I think is a growing, uh, uh, we have a growing recognition of it, the imperative to think about how the curriculum itself um, has to be uh, updated and transformed for the 21st century. So I think teachers are gonna be in the forefront of that. Um, and as Paul suggested, there's a, just a wonderful opportunity to learn from that process. Um, I guess I'll also say that teaching about critical topics about race and racism in a college classroom, I'm always just grateful and delighted when students come in and say, look, I, I took this up. I had a high school teacher that really went out of their way to actually revisit and think from a more critical perspective on that. Um, so that absolutely sets the kind of conditions for which our forms of knowledge production and teaching take place here. Um, and I feel, you know, an obligation to help uh, support that as well. I would say I have three quick reasons. The first one, and the primary one, is to build a pipeline. So engineering isn't typically taught in high school, and so how do students know whether they want to do engineering or not? I see this as a, a great opportunity to help bring engineering into high schools and to be able to expose students to that. The second reason is, is I'm just interested in this stuff. Um, I find it accessible and uh, we can cover a broad variety of environmental topics and um, I learn a lot um, through interactions with you, but I also I learn a lot just by taking on topics that I normally don't address in my research. And finally, as is, you know, I'm inspired by the efforts of teachers who go through all of this to bring a unit or something interesting, new, different to their classes. And so I'm inspired by all of you. I'll be a better teacher next year because of it. So I would just um, like to add to that and, and uh, uh, emphasize it. Uh, I, find, uh, I find that in, in my 
day job, as it were. We spend much too much time talking to ourselves and there's a, a little too much uh, sort of uh, navel gazing that goes on. And, and uh, after a certain point, uh, you really become more, more concerned about uh, the impact of what you can do on others. And I find the, the Teachers Institute, both New Haven and the National, to be inspiring um, because you can speak to, so you can work with teachers to uh, develop curriculum units that are incorporating state of the art uh, work that's going on in universities and translating it into a form that can actually uh, improve their own classes and the, the, the uh, the effort that people make to take you know, two weeks out of their summer and come in and really dig in and work hard. Um, I, I admire it. I know people have many other demands on their time and the fact that they're interested in and willing to do that uh, energizes me. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I was really quite awestruck by the results last year. So I, happy to be able to give back in a way that I find rewarding and, and uh, invigorating. Well, I sort of said already that, uh, you know, trying to proselytize for a historical sensibility, but I suppose it's also one of the dirty little secrets of college teaching about how little uh, training we get in being teachers. And so uh, it's one of the ways I learn about how to teach uh, and in some specific and concrete ways and some general ways of thinking about things. I, I come back every year, uh, sort of as Jordan says, um, from different teacher programs uh, with new ideas and being a better teacher. And I'm looking forward to learning from and with uh, a group of teachers uh, this summer.